<coughs> so the class I gave in the uh, first minyan in the Torah with Parashat Baishlah, um, yeah, today by the way is December 7, 2018. I forgot what the Hebrew date is, but I know we're getting close to Hanukkah. I think next week is Hanukkah, no? Yeah, yeah they're going Kaf Aleph, uh, Kislev, Tafi Nain Pei. Tafi Nain Pei? Right, right. We're 2017, right, Tafi Nain Pei. Right, so I, in my Shi'ur, I, um, I discussed with Yaakov and the Malaf. Yeah, with Ya'ah. Yes. Yeah. Right. It says, but Ish and Mo are the Lotus Shapa. And we know that the Ish was the Malaf. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But also in Hoshea, it brings the thing, the fight that Yaakov yeah. yeah, yeah, says, Yaakov for the Malaf. So the Peshat is for the Malaf, not before. But the question I asked is imagine you become friendly with the heavyweight champion of the world. Mm -hmm. And you're walking together in the street. And now another heavyweight champion comes to attack you. So naturally, you have the one heavyweight champion next to you. You're going to turn to your friend and say, defend me. And the guy says, no, you're on your own. What type of business is this? It's not fair that a mortal, a regular human person, uh, Woody Allen has to fight an Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can't, it's, it's an unfair battle. So I said when Yaakov left um, the Galut and enters Israel, it says, um, And uh, Radak and Ibn Ezra said, was a that there was a manach, uh, it was a machane within a machane. There was a machane of Yaakov surrounded by the machane of Malachi. And the Malachi were there to protect them. So the question I ask is, so when Yaakov is being attacked by the Malach of Esav, where are the Malachim protecting Yaakov? Why is Yaakov not being protected? The Malachim leave and say, Yaakov, you're on your own. Right? So what's, you know, that's a nice question. That's the shayla that I ask. And what's the answer? So, um, first question. And then the second question. I, I, I don't think that the Malach is permitted to interfere in the mission of another Malach. Okay, so Malah means you are in charge of this position A, not B, but only one mission. Right. And whatever is that outside the mission, you have nothing to do with it. Right. But, well. So I said that uh, every nation has a Malah. Yes. Right, so the Chachamim say on the Malach of Sihon, Melech HaEmori, Achare HaKoto, Et Sihon, Melech HaEmori, in the Perashat Devarim. So the Chachamim say that it's uh, after Hashem was Makkeh, the Malach of Sihon. Mm -hmm. once, you just, once, you, once you hit the Malach and you bring down the Malach, then the nation and follows. And this is true, this is true. So I see. It, it, this is true, no, no, I mean, even today you could see it, hmm. when the, um, uh, a nation, uh, loses its, its, its bears, yes, right. uh, it, it's lost. So I said, for example, you have uh, the Adam of Yod, Badel, Palasu Madai, Yavan, and um, Rome, and Roma. So you have these four, you have these four nations. So I said, the Malach Elohim, Olim Yovedim Bo, Hanavam says, these are the, the, the Malkuyot, that they go up and they go down. So the Malachim go up, and then the Malach will go down. Mm -hmm. So when the Malach goes up, or Malach of Abel goes up, Abel goes up. Go, Malach of Abel goes down, Paras of Madai goes up. That's the way you interpret it. The Hanabam says that he refers to the Malach Elohim as uh, the, the, the Shabud Makhui, the Shabud Makhui. Yeah, but all right. But That's what I interpret. I, but you, you know the way I interpret it. But I know, even if you give it all. Right, but that's what Hanabam interprets it anyway. I also brought the other explanation, but anyway. So the point is that, so what, is, what are these Malachim? I say the Malachim are beings, but what are they? I mean, what do they do? So I say the Malach has an idea. So for example, in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, the idea was we have the emperor. He created this new idea of empire. And the people were enchanted by that idea because there's a centralized government, there's a certain unity among men, a certain cohesiveness, all nations worship the emperor, all nations are ruled by the emperor, there's one law, people love it, so that's an idea. So the, so the Malach represents that idea. In order to destroy Nebuchadnezzar's empire, in the days of Belshazzar, 
you have to destroy the idea. And it's natural that after decades of being tortured in prison, and after decades of people being thrown off the planes, as they were in Argentina, mm -hmm. and after being physically brutalized, what Malach goes up? The Malach Parasumadai. Now, what was the Malach of Parasumadai? They believed in physical pleasure, right? So they had these fantastic, sumptuous feasts and banquets where everybody is invited to participate. So you see the relationship between first you live in the empire, but then you become physically brutalized and, and tortured, and your kids are taken away, and after all this physical deprivation, the idea of Parasumada, just enjoy everything, eat in the meals, free wine, free sets, and this sounds like a fantastic idea. So that Malach goes up. So what Malach comes after that? Well, after leave, living like animals, and Kikol Shulchanot Malehu Ki Soad in Makom, it becomes filthy and disgusting. You say, is this all humanity is an animal? So now you have the Malach of Yacht Elohim Be'ef, the Malach of Yabar. No, there's a certain aesthetics, there's a certain beauty, there's art, there's beauty. That's so you, you see the reaction of a Malachim. And then finally, of course, the, you know, beauty is a great thing, art is a great thing, but you need to run a country. So now you have Rome, with the Senate, with the organized government, with the organized military, right? So you see the relationship. So I said, these are the Malachim. So you have the Malachim that they come from up, and they come down, and they influence men, and men are enthralled by the ideas, and so the nations rise and fall. I said, what of the Jewish people? I said, by us, it's the opposite. When Abraham Avinu discovers God, a creator rather, who provides for his creations, no one came to speak to Adam Avinu. To Yaakov, um, to Abraham. Abraham. He thought of the idea. And Abraham says explicitly that Hashem didn't reveal himself to, to Adam until after he was no. thrown into jail and he after was he was thrown into what? He wasn't revealed. So on his own he thought of this. Yeah. And it was his idea. But later on, of course, Hashem came. But, but that was at the end, not at the beginning. So the idea was this. So when Moshe Rabbeinu goes to bring the Torah to Am Yisrael, it's not the Malachim who help Moshe Rabbeinu. On the contrary, the Malachim are there to stop Moshe Rabbeinu. And they say, Mali Yilud Isha Benenu. And Moshe Rabbeinu, and he turns to Hashem, and Hashem says, And then Hashem, Moshe you know, Rabbeinu, you know, Hashem, yeah, yeah, of course. So, Hashem, so Moshe Rabbeinu has to take away the Torah from the Malachim. So the Malachim are not there to help them. It's up to Moshe to do it. So I say, on the, the contrary, the, the Malachim want the Ramayinosh to discredit him. Right. 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 So I said, Yaakov Avinu is on his own. Am Yisrael is a nation ruled under God. We're not ruled under the Malachim. And therefore it's up to us to generate these ideas. It's up to us to make these changes. It's not up to a Malach who comes to us and then we, we're all enthralled hypnotically by this new idea. No, no, no. We use our minds, we think, we generate knowledge, and we are the light. Not the Malach is the light to us. We are the light. And uh, that's why Yaakov needs to fight the Malach directly. So what can the Malach do? So there's one thing that Yaakov is scared of. He says, And the Malach sees the mind of Yaakov Avinu. So what does he do? You know what does mean? Yes, you said that the mother falls on the child and in that way they he do kills. it purposely. Right, right. First so, then they, they threaten the, the child. child. So, and so the mother comes to Em Avinu. Yes, that's the Bili Avinu Mosek, I remember that. So he's afraid for his children. And the Malach sees this. So he says, And I explained based on the Bish Hakrejo that the Yerech, of course, symbolizes the children. You'll say, Hey, Yerech Yaakov, Shimim Nafesh. Yeah. So to be up. Right. So, he, so I explain that the Malach can't attack Yaakov. So what can he do? He attacks the children. And I said, This is Am Yisrael. We're exposed to the ideas of the nation. I said, Today, you sitting here in this room, you hear. TV, radio, internet, exposed to these ideas, and Malach is constantly trying to attack us, the children of Yaakov. In that sense, the Malach was successful. He couldn't attack Yaakov, but he could attack us, his children. But Teka Yaakov. 
פרטי. אין, החכמים סדר, את המלאך אבי סדיקים, את המלאך אבי יעקב. ואנחנו רואים את זה בפסוק, אנחנו לא רואים את זה, אנחנו רואים את זה, אנחנו רואים את זה, And Yaakov Yenu says, yes, I'll let you go, but you have to give me a better half. Where did we say? I said this, that, that the, the Malach of, uh, of a son right. of the Malach Yaakov. But that's based on the Chachamim. Yes. Right, that's based on the Chachamim, right? So, I said, but where do we see this in the Pasuk? Just as Shalachini, Ki'ala and Shacha. So I explained that the Shacha, Shochem Tov and Mishle, means a person who knows how to analyze the situation correctly. So the Malach is telling Yaakov, I now understand things clearly. The light of the Shacha, Allah HaShacha means my understanding is not clear. And he says, Shalepeni. Where do we see the word Shalepeni in this Perasha? First we look at this Perasha, by Shacha Yaakov Malachim. What are these Shalepeni? These Shalepeni are there to do the bidding of Yaakov, meaning Yaakov Avinu is sending the Shalepeni and they're following his instructions. So now the Malach is telling Yaakov Shalepeni. What does it mean Shalepeni? I want to be your agent. I want to be your servant. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Shalepeni ki ala hashacha means I'm willing to join your team now. One second. And I'm just going to have one thing. Yeah, and here we see, so the order is in verse. Always it's a malachim influencing men. Here it's man influencing the malach. Shalepeni ki ala hashacha. Tell me what the shalichut is. That, that, that was, that was, that was yeah. my class. Uh, uh, in so, that class. so what does it mean? Shacha, the morning. Interesting. Morning, when the light is supposed to, to, to fluoresce, I don't know, it's called Shahar. The Shoresh is Shahar. Right. Huh. Right. Interesting. What does it mean? Right. Amud Shahar. Is that Amud Shahar? Uh-huh. It's Amud Ha'or. Right. Interesting question. So I think that Shahar is Allah Shahar, when the Shahar dissipates. Uh-huh. Mm. Amud al-Shahar means... The Shachor dissipates. That's right. Right, the darkness dissipates. Yes. Right. Interesting, nice. That's why in interpretation, I'm always correct or not. Uh-huh. I didn't see it in anybody, but I, it, 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 that's on Shachor. Right. Yes? Right. Very nice. Yes. So, so uh, to... to, uh, to uh, when you see the Shachar, means that the Shachar is dissipating. Similar to Vayya uh, et uh, 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 yes. the Or was there, according to one of the... One of the it doesn't the stamp, uh, the, the yeah. was leaving. Yes. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, wonderful. Wonderful. Tell me a little bit about how you feel there. You feel no, I must admit, it's the only community that I know of that uh, they care about. Uh, I'm not uh, but They don't always get it right. Yeah, yeah, but at least there's a certain you know, connection with, with the values of our parents. And it's nice to see it. As I told you, I see um, uh, Morris Barron gives a, the Ta'amim class. He also has a class for, for studying Michel de Alpin. And the kids take it so seriously that in the summer, when there's no million in Torah, everybody goes to deal with Dilva Ya'avot, they continue, they, they, they contacted him in deal so that he would continue his, ta- his Michel de Alpe class. It was very nice. I was uh, Friday night there, so there's a black hat Talmud of Morris, who's the son of Morris's partner in, in the company. Morris is a partner in the company? So, so what about it? He's. Um, so the, a young boy knew more since he was young, Morris told him Ta'amim, and then he grew up, and now the boy goes to a black yeshiva. So he, he comes to Morris. Ah, he's the son of his partner, of exactly. the, one of the boys. Exactly. Yeah. So the, the son goes to the yeshiva, to, to a black yeshiva, but he's still very connected with Morris, he loves him. He, so he comes to study Torah with him, and it's, it was, so for example, he came to the house around 11 o'clock at night, knocking on the door, you're knocking on the door, young boy, maybe 18, 19 years old, I don't know how old he is. Yeah. He dressed like a black guy, comes in, studies Torah. They study Torah till quarter to two in the morning. Regular young boy, a businessman. Beautiful thing to see, beautiful, beautiful to see. I don't know that, I don't know if you're aware that I am the one who started this revolution. Right, right. People saying Torah, people opposed me and they did this and so on. So they, um, so I think it's a special community. I think there's a lot of beautiful things there. And I think that I, I personally, my own opinion, I'm not, 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 I'
Hashem preserved that community and they didn't come to Israel. Right? Well, they had to come to Israel, there would be no Ta'ani, no Mishnayot, no Hazar. No, no. I said, my own personal opinion, that's me. Right. But I think that if they would come as a community, yes, it would be. But, but who knows? But, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I know one thing, I will say. The Mishnayot, Rabbi Noah Kadosh, was... But I, I, I am the one who introduced Mishnayot. Right, no, 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 no. I was addressing what you just said. Yeah. Mishnayot, Rabbi Noah Kadosh, redacted the Mishnah mm -hmm. at the height of economic prosperity for Am Yisrael. Mm -hmm. The Gemara mm -hmm. was prepared at the height of the economic prosperity of the Jews of Babel. I, I think there's a clear connection. I think it has itself nice. between the economic situation of Am Yisrael and the ability to generate Torah. There is and Kemach and Torah. It's of Emel So this is this is the fact. English Torah is Kemach. Exactly. I believe that. So I don't think I, I, I take it seriously. But but it doesn't matter what I think. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. What matters is that apparently that was part of Hashem's plan for whatever reason, for whatever reason. But like many of these uh, people, they, they, they give a lot of money to Israel, their children mm -hmm. come to yeah. Israel for, for yeshiva, they, they, so it's, it's a lot of beautiful things that I, I, I personally... Yeah. Let me ask you two uh, tangential questions. Yes. The first one is, what do you think about going on in America? Because it is, has a repercussion about the community. Of course. Um, well... I mean, right. it's with Trump and this and it work. It's, it's clear that the political establishment over the last few decades has been a farce. Meaning it doesn't matter who gets elected, there are people behind the elected officials who determine policy. Mm -hmm. And that policy is determined not by the, the president, people the voting for the president, because mm -hmm. the president will do what his backers yeah. told him to do. It's determined by the backers. Mm -hmm. The only exception is the Congress. That's why the Congress has always been very pro-Israel. And the Congress has always had people who really had ideas, but when the president is the president,